Dave Sharma, Federal Liberal Member for Wentworth, is a solutions man. On his website, he says tackling housing affordability is a key focus for him. So I wanted to explore his full policy. Every Australian deserves an achievable pathway to home ownership. I mean, that's something we can all agree on. Home ownership in Australia has been on a steady decline for decades. Basically, every age group has seen big drops in the proportion of homeowners. For example, the proportion of 25 to 34 year old homeowners dropped from over 50% in 1996 to 37% in 2017. We need to work together to find solutions to ensure more Australians can afford to enter the housing market. Housing affordability is an ever increasing problem. But here we start to see the vague language creep in. What does he mean by working together? He's the one in government. Maybe he means working together with Labor to come up with solutions. I will oppose new measures, such as Labor's changes to negative gearing and capital gains tax that will push up rents and discourage investment in housing. And that's it. There is literally nothing else in his policy apart from those three sentences. That's not a policy, that's a tweet. You're the one in government, Dave. You're not in opposition. Your policy can't be to bag out what Labour has suggested. At least they've suggested something. What I find fascinating is that this is a perfect example of how the Morrison government operates. They come up with no meaningful policy or solutions, but heavily criticise anyone else who comes up with ideas. The Liberals and Nationals have been in federal government for over eight years, and yet they're still acting like an opposition party. But if you're wondering why Dave Sharma is so worried about Labour's suggestions, then wonder no more. Here are his asset disclosures from when he entered federal government. His family disclosures show they owned a number of properties across Australia. There's an investment property in Canberra and another investment in Brisbane, which he recently sold. A house in Taramara in Sydney, which he sold this year for $1.76 million. Another house in Paddington in Sydney, which he bought in 2018 for $2.6 million, and then sold this year for $3.15 million, making an easy half a mil in three years. And then he bought a home this year in Centennial Park, Sydney, for $4.3 million. To be clear, my issue isn't the ton of money he's made from property. The issue is empty policy statements from people who obviously have no intention of solving the problem. In what fantasy land would Dave Empty Words Sharma want property prices to be more affordable?